we'll be talking about basic operations in R now. And the learning objective in this session would be about understanding operators within R, the built-in functions, some basic built-in functions, data types, uh, including vectors and general vector operations, data types like matrices, general matrix operations, arrays, lists, and data frames, and the uh, accordingly accor according to that, the basic general data frames also. Uh, also, we will be touching upon the factors as an aspect. So that would be the learning objective of this whole session, right? So operators, the basic operators, which we usually know as the mathematical operators sometimes. So what is assignment in R? So when you see a symbol like a less than with a dash, right, or a single equal to, that basically means an assignment operator uh, usually goes from the right to the left which indicates that some operation on the right is being done and that corresponding value or whatever is the output is allocated to some term on the left hand side of the operator right so that is the less than dash operator or the single equal to operator which basically means that you are assigning some uh, some operation value on the right hand side of this term to something on the left hand side so if you do a basic x allocation sign that's how i will term it now many of the uh, R coders or data scientists would use this symbol less than dash because that's how R guys usually write code and it in fact helps us to isolate an assignment operator with a uh, equal to double equal to operators just to avoid confusion we basically go for the less than dash operator so here six, 6 is a value which is assigned to x right so if I say 6 assign operator and x on the left hand side that basically means that x will have value 6 and the same goes for x is equal to 6. Similarly, if you say the assignment operator with a A mentioned in double quotes, that means that you are allocating a character to Y. That means the value stored in Y would be A, right? Now, what are the basic operators in R? So, we have from the mathematical aspect, there is a plus, minus, right? So, plus is indicated with the plus sign, minus with the minus sign. The asterisk sign is for multiplication. The uh, double percent sign stands for modulo and the inverted cap stands for raised to. So if you say 2 inverted caps 2, that means 2 raised to 2, that is 4. That's how you'll read it. That's the basic arithmetic functions. From the relational perspective, it would be the greater than equal to, less than equal to, double equal to and not equal to is shown with an a, with a uh, exclamation and an equal to mark. So you cannot use something like what you use in SQL statement like uh, the less than and the greater than sign as not equal to that won't work in R. Then the logical would be not and the and right these would be the operator right. So uh, basically you can use a double and also right uh, that has some difference in the way in which it works. We will get to see that when we actually work on these right then for using an operator which signifies a model formula will be using the tilde sign which is on the extreme left of your keyboard right and the assignment operator the less than dash can also be written as dash greater than which means that you are assigning something on the left to the right but preferably you should be doing the previous notation the dollar is indicative of using a list separator so if you are trying to access something like a data frame say there is a data frame with the name say customer so you have saved some data over there so how do you access the individual columns over there that is with the dollar operator and to create a sequence you will be using the colon operator right so that would be 10 colon 20 says that create a sequence of numbers from 10 to 20 that's how you will see so there will be 11 numbers in this sequence including 10 and 20 so that would be 10 11 12 till 20 that is 11 numbers now, when you see on the screen a prompt like the greater than sign, usually you won't see this on the script window. This would be seen only in the console window. So if you see a prompt sign with the greater than, that means R is asking you to give an input, right? So that's where you will write your codes, right? So when you say over here log of 20 by 5, it's indicative that you're asking R to execute a log of 20 by 5. And over here log means log to the base E. That's a natural logarithm and not the log to the base 10 or log to the base 2. So that's the value 1.4 as you can see on the screen. Each line of R code can have max 128 characters. Not to say that it doesn't mean that you cannot write a code more than 128 characters. It only means that on a single line you can have 128 characters. If you have to put that on the next line, you have to use that with a plus sign as a separator that tells R that 
the remaining of the code is on the next line right and so you can say one plus one colon sorry semicolon that is standing as a separate code and two asterisk nine that means two multiplied by nine is a separate code and three two seven three minus seven is a separate code so when you use the semicolon operator it indicates that on the same line you have three different statements to be executed that's how you will tell r that these are standalone statements which have to be executed separately